Uh, we run these tourneys every Thursday, 7 p.m. Uh, there's a Discord. I forget the command for it. But you can definitely check the bracket page. Uh, and the Discord should be linked there if you want to join. But alrighty, looks like we have Zack versus Chepe. Zack using Ness, Chepe using Olimar. Interesting pick. There's not really uh, many Olimars on Wi-Fi. I know, what, there's like MFA? I can't think of any other like notable ones. Obviously Myron, but he doesn't like play Wi-Fi like that. But uh, yeah, definitely not a matchup I'm familiar with. Um, I imagine Olimar definitely does pretty well. I mean, Olimar is still a very strong character, even, you know, despite the nerfs. Which was, it was mainly just like a hitbox thing. Right, because they made his, well, her box, I should say. They made his hurt box bigger. So that way he could get hit by more stuff. I think they might have changed the Pikmin too. I don't remember all like, the, the the changes that they made. I just remember him and Pichu were like, been like the two characters that they've like, substantially nerfed to some degree. Not sure how big it was, but uh, yeah. So I think the big thing here too for uh, Chepe is just, honestly, how well he can catch Zack in the air. Having these Pikmin definitely help. Uh, he might be dead. Yep, dies to up throw off the top. Uh, I, I feel like all the Pikmin probably clank with Nesses, like forward air, his nair, his back air. Maybe purple doesn't. I feel like it might still. Uh, edge guarding definitely gonna be kinda rough, cause Olimar can't grab ledge with yo yo. Granted, if he does throw away his Pikmin, or if he's light enough, depending on which Pikmin he has, he can just, you know, go around it and attack Ness for trying to yo-yo. So we could definitely see him do that. As we kind of see it right there, Zack tried to, you know, charge a, an up smash at ledge, Chepe just upbeat around it, and then punished him. And, ooh, yeah, purple. So say purples are, you know, definitely his best Pikmin by far. They're the most damaging, still extremely fast, they kill. Uh, and Chepe now has double purple Pikmin. I don't know if you want three, but I do know that uh, a lot of uh, all of our players will look to try and get double purple, just because of how well their you know the smash attacks become. You see Zach throwing out an F smash, able to catch Chepe and take that first stock. Uh, but you know he's sitting at what one one twenty nine. Gonna be very scary if Chepe is able to pull another purple or. Honestly, even if he just gets like a raw aerial, I think uh, Zach probably looking at death here. Yep. Yeah, that'll definitely kill. Alrighty, so now Chepe up a full stock. Uh, Zach gonna have to try and approach. And I think a big thing here is just you know making sure he doesn't you know keep these Pikmin attached to him for too long. So I think we'll probably see him throw out a lot more aerials, just, you know, in terms of approaching. Because if you get two, three Pikmin latched on you, that, that damage adds up over time. As we see, yeah. Able to kill the white Pikmin. I know that one does the most damage. Like, by far. Uh, what is it? I think red's invulnerable to fire stuff? I wonder if red Pikmin can go through PK fire. I'd imagine so. Uh, I know blues are the best for throws, purples I just talked about. I wonder what yellows do. Are they just like the, the base Pikmin? I know in the game they're like, what, like electric Pikmin. Uh, not sure about Smash though. But yeah, Chepe able to get Zack to 114% now. Has a purple on deck. It's just only a matter of time, you know, before Zack probably gonna lose this, you know, last stock. Able to get an up air. He still does have life, though. It's just a matter of not getting hit by one of these stray Pikmin. No, up there, not gonna kill off the top. Oh, yellow go through electric moves? So what, what is that, like, like, Tejol? I, I don't really know any other electric moves in the game. I guess, that makes sense. Lucy Chepe gonna kill Zack off the top with, uh, up there. Able to take him one. I remember back in Brawl, whenever they had, like, the whole, like, property types thing, so, like, your character could take more or less damage depending on the type of move and what you were weak to. Or Pokemon- oh, I remember Pokemon Trainer had, like, the whole stamina thing. That was weird. Yeah. 
Yeah, like yellow Pikachu, T Jolts, PK Thunder, etc. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, actually, yeah, that could definitely be helpful then. Does that mean Ness and Lucas just get gimped if you like throw out yellows on them? I don't know if yellows do enough to like um, put you into hit stuff, right? Interrupt you. But... I do know if you have Pikmin on you and you try PK Thunder too, it'll automatically shorten the distance in half as Ness. Because it's like, you know, you're hitting an object, you have to get the Pikmin off of you. But yeah, T Jolt's PK Thunder. Does Zelda have a. I feel like. No. Maybe? I don't know. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Ready? Never seen an Olimar do it before. Well, I've seen Olimar's Gimpness. I, I don't know if Yellow specifically is better for that. I just know that it's definitely like, you know, like a thing you can, like, I just know like, oh, if Ness is deep off stage, you throw out like a red and a blue Pikmin and he's forced to PK Thunder 2 and he gets hit by it. If Ness comes into contact with anything during PK Thunder 2, recovery is half. But, uh, yeah, looks like Zack gonna stick, still stick with Ness. Uh, I'm not sure if they switched stages. Oh, we have Battle for the PS2? Is that the stage? Uh, I think they're playing on it. Let me check. Well, he's SDing. I'm assuming they just didn't want to go to- I don't know. Maybe the stage was PS2, let's see. Okay, yeah, the stage was, was uh, PS2, so... One of them accidentally switched to it. It happens. You think of the PK Thunderbolt. Well, no, because uh, like they're supposed to be able to go through it, right? So like if you like Holy Water, uh, well, if you use uh, Simon's Holy Water and Olimar has like a Red Pikmin, the Red Pikmin just like goes through it. I don't think it goes away. Actually, I don't know. That's something I have to lab. I, I think. That's interesting. Like I said, Ness Olimar I don't think is like the most common of matchups, especially because Olimar just isn't a common character, really. Let me check in on these two real quick. It's a normal PS2. Nope, the FD variant. Yo, I agree. They are weird characters, but it's nice. I like seeing Olimar. I don't think he's like a hyper or anything. But... You know, he's like he's a cool enough character, I guess. Just in terms of like adding him into Smash, like him and uh, I guess technically Alf too. <laughs> oh, poor Alf. He's probably the most forgotten character in Smash. I think. Granted, I don't know what they would have changed if they made him an Echo Fighter. Like maybe give him Rock Pikmin. But then, you know, how, how do you differentiate Rock Pikmin from Purple Pikmin? Like, what would you make the Rock Pikmin do? Maybe more damage? I don't know. That's interesting. What do you do? Back to, uh, normal PS2 again. Uh, Chepe building up a lead, able to get a, you know, nice couple of strings, and obviously, you know, still racks up more damage with the non-Purple Pikmin. Uh, I imagine he's gonna want to try and keep that one purple, because like I said, a lot of all of our mains try to go for double purple, at the very least. Just because of how much high damage they do, and how easy it is to rack up for sin. I, I think it's up smash up air, that's the combo that they do with purple Pikmin. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I mean, Zach got, what, 122. Yep, purple back air definitely gonna kill. I remember back in, like, Brawl, whenever they had him- gave him a tether, that was really weird. Thank goodness he doesn't have a tether. Brawl pick- what could- what was it, like, seven? I think he could have seven Pikmin? I don't remember. I remember it was definitely a lot more than three. <laughs> That'd be awful. 
he could still have that many. But yep, there's the double purple. Uh, like I was talking about beforehand. Oh wait, does purple just go through PK fire? That's so interesting. It looked like it just went through. I don't know if that's odd. Not sure how that once I I don't know <laughs> how Olimar's Pikmin work. Olimar is such a complex character. But uh yeah, Chepe. You know, up up a full stock, basically. Zach trying to get him, you know, dead with that PK uh, flash in into an up smash. Not able to close up that first stock though. Yeah, but I think that's like that's the big thing. Just making sure he doesn't, you know, get hit by too many Pikmin. And then just edge guarding Olimar. So we see Ooh, Chepe. Tried to go above Yo Yo. And just almost got there. Just barely got clipped by the uh, the top hit of Up Smash. And Zach gonna take that first stock. I don't know if Chepe should have thrown out an attack there to maybe try and clank with Yo-Yo. Because Yo-Yo does have projectile property, right? If you throw out a move that, you know, has a decent enough disjoint, it's probably gonna clank at the very least with Yo-Yo. Or even beat it out. But, uh... Ooh, Chepe. Not dying there. Oh, there we go. So that that's what we were talking about. Yellow Pikmin on PK Thunder. <laughs> that's funny. So it definitely still halves Ness's recovery, but it looked like he still kept hitting him, and Ness like didn't get knocked out of free fall. It just kind of ignore ignored the PK Thunder, I guess. But uh, yeah, good gimp by Chepe to take that second stock. And uh, you know now up up a full stock. Uh, Zach gonna have to do a little work to try and you know bring this back. Yeah, definitely like you know a PK Thunder two could definitely help him. Uh, and he just, he can't eat too much, as we see. He's already been taking the 90, now 106. I, I've seen him use a lot of uh, forward smash, you know, just to try and reflect the Pikmin, because they are projectiles, but not going to be enough. Chepe able to take the uh, set too well.